I often uh, find myself thinking about Christ more and more and uh, thinking about the freedom that I have within him. You know, on Sunday nights, Brother Given has been going over the topic, freedom in Christ. And I find myself thinking a lot about that as I've been uh, experiencing it more and more in my life. And um, I, I find myself coming to this passage in Romans chapter 6. And um, as we consider Christ uh, at this time, Romans chapter 6, in verse number 17, it says, But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered to you. Being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. And uh, I found myself thinking about this, about, but God be thanked. You know, this is, this is uh, something that we are, uh, it's not hard for us. You know, it's not a burden to thank him for what he has done. You know, sometimes when you do stuff for people and they thank you, you know, sometimes you kind of feel like they're not that thankful, you know. It's kind of a burden for them to express their thankfulness, but not us to God. We express our thanks to him willingly and open, openly. Why? Because we were servants of sin, it says. And uh, thinking of that, of, 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 of the time where we, all of our desires, our actions were towards that what we wanted, sinful desi our sinful desires, and we sought to fulfill those sinful desires. We were in bondage to them. But he says, um, but you have obeyed from the heart to that form of doctrine, which was delivered to you what Paul talked about a little bit earlier in chapter 6 there, where he talked about being dying, being buried, and resurrecting in newness of life, and then being made free. And I like the sound of that. Yeah. Being made free from sin. And you've become the servants of righteousness. And I couldn't help but think, noticing that he started off being slaves to sin, and then after we obeyed that form of doctrine, now we're slaves to righteousness. And that's what we would rather rather be. That's um, Now, instead of our affections and desires towards sin, now they are towards the things of God. You know, now we desire to set our minds on things above. Verse number 20, he says, For when you were servants of sin, you you were free from righteousness. Mm -hmm. You know, so when we were servants of sin, we had no righteousness within us. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. You know, in, in, in the life of being a slave to sin, there was fruit that we produced, but it was bad fruit. It was fruit yeah. that was rotten, and it was fruit that was bad. And it was a fruit that it says at the end is death, that led to death. But now being made free from sin and... Let's see. Yeah, verse number 22. But now being made free from sin and became servants to God, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. Amen. Again, he says, being made free mm -hmm. and becoming slave or yeah, servants to God. We were servants to sin, mm -hmm. obeyed the form of the doctrine, we became servants of righteousness mm -hmm. and servants to God. Yeah. And this fruit he talks about again, the fruit that we produced while we were slaves to sin was... Uh, rotten that was um, that led to death but this fruit that we pr that we produce now in in being servants of God being servants of righteousness it says their fruits unto holiness and the end eternal life and these are a, a fruit these are this is the um, 
in being slaves to righteousness, being slaves to God, this fruit is so much better Amen. than what we were producing before. Verse number 23, for the wages for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You know, I was thinking of these wages um, of sin, um, talk, and we were just mentioning that fruit that we were producing in, in being slaves of sin. That cost or the wage of, of that was death. But the gift of God is eternal life. And I like how Paul says, through Jesus Christ. And so as we come to remember Christ, we have come to remember what he has done for us and also what has been accomplished through him and through his death and through his uh, burial and through his resurrection for us. These are the types of things that have been produced and these are the types of things that we come and remember here at this table. Amen. Heavenly Father God, I thank you for blessing us with this time that we can be able to come before you and that we can be able to think on these things that you have done for us through your son that, have, that, he, that he has accomplished. We thank you for them. We thank you that we can be able to come and remember them reg regularly and that they can always be on our minds and that we can always uh, um, remember them and that they can produce good things within us. We pray that you would um, bless our time um, as we uh, commune with you and as we um, and as we um, uh, take to mind these these things which we have have read from your word. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.